Hey party people, my name is Daryl and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create subscription based products for your e-commerce website. Now there are two types of subscription based products. So this right here is just a simple subscription. So for example, I'm charging people $15 a month, giving them a seven day free trial and a $5 sign up fee. Now you can change this to weekly, daily, you can charge any price you want. You can also give a free trial if you choose to, and you can do like a one month free trial or even a three month free trial, whatever you choose. And then this right here is totally optional. So you can also charge a sign up fee or you can just not charge them at all. Now this is an example of just a simple subscription. Next we have a variable subscription. Now this is ideal for something where you have multiple tiers. So for example, right here, I mean, web hosting was the only one I can think of, but there's, I'm sure there's other tiers or other businesses that use this. But uh, here I have the starter plan, the medium plan, and the max plan. Now each subscription offers something different. So this right here is for 10,000 monthly visits, 50,000 visits, and 100,000 visits. Now right here you can see that we have these options right here. So if I choose the starter plan, you're gonna see that people are gonna be charged $30 a month and a seven day free trial will be imposed. However, they have to pay a $10 sign up fee. Now, if I select the medium right here, also the images changes, you'll see that they're just being charged $50 a month. And then right here for the max plan, they're going to be charged $100 a month. So I'll show you how to create variable subscriptions as well for your e-commerce website. Now, a new feature they've recently added is discounts for your subscriptions. So right here, there is a sign-up fee discount. So let's say, for instance, a customer, you know, uh, wants a sign up fee discount, you can give them a coupon code for that. Also, you can do a recurring product discount or a dollar amount discount. So uh, let's say for instance, you know, get 10% off your subscription on a lifetime basis, something like that. Or you can say here's $5 off every single month, something in that manner. So in this video, I'll show you how to set these up for your e-commerce websites. Now the WooCommerce subscription plugin um, it's quite expensive. It's on the WooCommerce website and it costs around $200. However, for these plugins, I do recommend GPL websites. The only difference is that with these plugins, you don't get support and with these plugins you do. So uh, it's totally up to you. But if you're brand new to WooCommerce plugins, you can know that they are quite expensive. So personally, I would use GPL websites because I've used them before. And then once you actually rely on the plugin, you actually use it all the time then I would switch and I would probably purchase the WooCommerce subscriptions plugins because I've wasted thousands of dollars buying random plugins that I never even needed. So uh, that's just an option for you if you decide to um, go with it. But go ahead and get the plugin or download it from any website you want. And uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to set it up on your website. So uh, once you get the plugin, you'll go over here to Dashboard. All right, and let's go ahead and set this up. So again, the first thing you're gonna have to do is go ahead and upload the plugin. So you're gonna go to uh, plugins, add new. Once you download it from WooCommerce or a GPL mall website, which it only costs you $15 to get the entire lot of plugins, which is just way cheaper. So you can kind of experiment and do whatever you wanna do. So once you do that, you'll upload the plugin. And once you've uploaded the plugin, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is create a product. So right here under products, we're gonna to go to add new. Now, in case you don't want to buy the plugin right now, you can just watch this video and follow along to see if this is something for your website because maybe you don't know yet. And I've totally been there, I know how it is. So what we'll do here is I'll just do like, um, we're gonna do the, uh, I don't know, Daryl's video streaming. Daryl's video streaming. And then right here, you can put in a description of the product, right? So right here we have product data. Now, what you've noticed right here is that we have two types of subscriptions. We have simple and we have variable. So I'm gonna do simple. Now, generally, if you're on a subscription on your website, uh, unless you're shipping out products on a subscription basis, usually they're virtual. So if they're virtual, you wanna go ahead and check that. So remember, um, if you're offering something digital, like a service, streaming service, an attorney service, phone calls, something like that, then this is virtual. If you're offering meal plans, where you're saying, hey, we'll ship out a meal to you every single day, then that is not virtual. So, but I think for most people that we're using virtual, but then again, I'm, I'm not trying to say that you're not using one, I'm just saying most people anyways. So right here we have the subscription price. So how much do you wanna charge 
per whatever. So I'm gonna say, all right. So for the simple subscription, we're gonna charge people $20 a month. Now you can charge them every single day, every single week, every single month, or every single year. But we're gonna go ahead and select monthly. Now you can also say every other, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, or sixth month, which I don't really see a reason to do that, but I'm just glad the plugin gave us an option. So like this, for example, would be every other month, every three months, something like that. So, but I'm gonna say every month. Now right here, expires after what? Well, you can choose the option for never expires or maybe something like 12 months. So, you know, after 12 months, they're gonna have to renew or something like that. So that's just an option of if you want to have them expire. Now you can also just set to never expire. And depending on the theme that you're using, people can go ahead and cancel within their account anyways. So um, that's strictly up to you, but I'm just gonna say, you know what? If they wanna cancel, they can let me know. Sign up fee, I'm gonna charge them a $10 sign up fee. Do they get a free trial? If you wanna give them a free trial, well, I'll say, sure, why not? Let's give them a seven day free trial. Now again, remember, you can give seven week free trial, a seven month free trial, or seven year free trial, whatever you wanna do here, this is your business, you know? And then also a sale price. Now, uh, sale prices, again, they're pretty self-explanatory. You would just schedule a sale if you wanna go ahead and do that. But I'm not gonna cover that in this video because I already, it's not really important to subscriptions. And then is this taxable? You know, probably not. You know, I don't think subscription-based products are even taxable. You know, like usually like for Netflix and everything, um, they're not taxable, at least in the state of California, they're not. So uh, yeah, that would be up to you if they charge tax for digital products. But um, in my state, they don't. A lot of states, they don't actually. But they do in some states, so I'm just letting you know that. And then right here, we have these other options right here. But uh, I think at this point, we don't need to do any of these other products. You know, we don't need inventory, we don't need att attributes, nothing like that. Right here, you're gonna go ahead and put in your description. So what I'll do right here is I'll just put in some description right here. I'll just grab something and I will go ahead and paste that in. All right, something simple. Here, I'll give the product an image. So I'm going to just throw in that little Netflix image. Hopefully I don't get sued, right? This is just for total purposes. And then uh, right here, I'll select subscriptions. And once we've done that, I think we're all set and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in publish right now. So now I'm just basically publishing this product. And once we're done with that, let's go ahead and take a look at this product. So right here, I will view the product. And here we go. Now this is my current theme I'm using. So that's why it looks like this. So right here, I actually have Daryl's video streaming. We have the description and we have the sign up fee and then go ahead and sign up now. So just to give you a quick little, uh, let's give you guys a bonus for watching this. I'm using the Flatsum theme and Flatsum is actually the number one selling e-commerce theme over on ThemeForest. WooCommerce, I'll go to my product page and I can just do something very basic, something that you guys have seen before, right? Something like this, something like that, there we go. So there we go. And I even have a little thing over there. That's an option. So it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So maybe you guys want to watch my, my thoughts and video after this is all done. So uh, this right here is an example of a single, of a, a single subscription product. So that's it. You're done. Now let's go ahead and do a variable subscription. So something like this right here. So this right here is an example of a subscription based product. And it works very similar to, um, it works very similar to just variable products. So let's go ahead and make one from scratch. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you how I did all that. We'll just make a new one from scratch to give you an example. So this right here is gonna do something like web hosting or uh, you can do like attorney phone call. Let's do this attorney. Let's, let's be an attorney today. You know, attorney attorney phone call. I don't know. This can be anything that you want. So right here we have product data and we're gonna select variable product this time. And I'm not gonna put taxable because it, it's definitely I don't think it's taxable at all now the first thing that you're gonna want to do is go to attributes and click on add right here so what are you offering well I'm gonna put phone call now again for the web hosting I did starter you know starter plan medium plan gold plan so usually what you're going to do is offer some sort of tier so for example right here I'll do a 10 minute phone call. This right here is gonna be 
uh, or let's see, for every month, we'll offer like a one hour. And then this right here will be three hours. And then this is gonna be something like nine hours. Now, this symbol right here, this little bracket right here, this is above the enter sign. So what you're gonna do is hold shift and press the little bracket. So usually the key looks like this and you're gonna wanna hold shift and then press it. I hope in the future they change that because that can be very confusing for beginners. So now that I've done that, what we're gonna do is click on use for variations and click on save attributes. I don't know if it's attributes or attributes. I don't know. I, people have said I say it weird sometimes, but I don't know, who knows. Next, we click on variations, click right here and go create variations from all attributes and go to go. And they're gonna say, are you sure? And I'll say, yes, yes, I'm sure. Daddy knows what he's doing. All right, so here we have the hours. So we have one hour, three hours and nine hours. So essentially what I'm offering is, let's just pretend I'm an attorney and I'm saying, if you pay this on a subscription basis, you'll have access to talk to me for one hour a month, three hours a month or nine hours a month. So right here, what you're gonna do is put in an, an image. So uh, what is the image that you want to offer the first tier? So let's say, for example, I am, uh, let's, let's, let's see what we got here. Um, for an attorney starter plan, let's see what we can do here. You know, I don't even know. Here, we'll offer this guy. He's like, he, he looks a little, or actually, here we go. Oh, this is better. Ooh, this is better. All right, this is much better. And then what's the price for this? Well, one hour is gonna cost you $100 a month, okay? Downloadable, or I'm sorry, virtual. There it is. Sorry about that, guys. I, I couldn't find it. So virtual. So you want to select virtual if it's virtual, and if it's not, then leave that. All right, my bad, guys. So right here, close that, and we were all done. We're going to go to three hours now. So three hours again, put the image. So I'm going to put this guy as number two. All right. And then this right here is going to be $300, $300 uh, a month. And uh, this, again, is virtual. And we're all done. Close that. And then right here we have nine hours. Nine hours, we're gonna put the woman. So women are on top. Here we go, set variation image. And then here we're gonna do 900. So what I'm saying here is I'm offering tiers. So the, the first one is um, $100. This is the image right here. And then the second one is this guy right here. And that costs $300. And the third tier is nine hours. And we have this woman right here. And this again is virtual and uh, that's about it. So right here, I'll click on save changes. All right. Now, just to give you some caution, I would just click on publish right now. Just do it because what I've discovered in the past sometimes is let's say there's some random error. Uh, what happens is uh, all your, all your work that you've done on the variations gets deleted. So I just click on publish we're not ready for, it's not ready yet, but don't worry. We'll just add in some description here. So uh, what I'll do now, I'll go back over here and I'm just gonna, uh, you know, I'm just gonna grab some just demo text. All right, I know this has nothing to do. This is totally like, you know, don't, don't down like the video, but I'm just giving you an example. So this would be a uh, basic attorney, basic attorney, attorney, uh, smarter attorney. All right, smarter attorney. And then we have like the best attorney or the best lawyer. Lawyer, attorney, it's the same thing. And then you can talk about their description right here. Also, if you need space, just take this and drag it. There we go. And then uh, right here, we have the product image. So what image do you want to display for your variable product? Well, uh, for a lawyer, I'm gonna go ahead and put in, um, let's see here, uh, we'll put in, uh, we'll put in this guy. Here we go. This, this guy's yeah. This this guy's intimidating. You know, this looks like one dude I would not want to mess with. And then uh, you'd go ahead and put it in a uh, a category. And I think now we're pretty much done. Now let's go ahead and update this. All right, and let's click on view the product. All right, cool. So here we go. So we have the attorney phone call. Right. The basic attorney. The stats would be right here, the smarter attorney and the best lawyer. Now let's go ahead and see if the images work here. So right here I have one hour 
and there you go. The image changes, and that will be $100 a month. And then right here, we have three hours, and now we got this guy right here, and that costs $300. And then we have nine hours, which is gonna cost us $900, and we have this beautiful lady right here. All right, and then they can add it to the cart, et cetera. So that is just basically an example of how to create subscription-based products. Um, I think subscription-based products are a great way to make money. And if you're a person that's in web design, which some of you might, you can just tell people, hey, sign up for this subscription for my maintenance package. And then what kind of maintenance package? Well, we got the, we got the crap one, we got the good one, and we got the one that you wanna buy, you know? Something like that. And when I was doing web design, I offered uh, maintenance plans. In fact, you should because most people that are using WordPress, they need to offer maintenance plans because WordPress tends to update a lot. And so I've shown you all how to create those subscriptions. Now, right here we have coupon codes. Now here we can enter in coupon codes for your subscriptions. So let's say for instance, I want to offer a coupon code that says lawyer, you know, whatever, or something like that. And then here you can give us some description for something so you're not sure. So I'll put the uh, discounts for lawyer. And then right here we have discount type. So these, a lot of these are base, but the ones that are new is the sign up fee discount and the recurring product discounts. Now this one here is for booking and I'll, I actually have a booking tutorial, uh, another one, so you guys can watch that if you want. Anyways, so right here we have the rec or recurring product discount. So this is a dollar amount discount and this is a percent. So if I choose dollar amount, that means that if I put 10 right here, it's going to give them $10 off every single month or every single payments or every six payments and then it expires. So when it says payments, that's not referring to every month. It's actually referring to, let's say for instance, you're charging people weekly, it's gonna charge them every single time they make a payment. So if you put 10 payments after 10 payments, this coupon code will expire. So this again is a dollar amount and this right here is a percentage discount off their subscription price. So. For example, if it costs $10 and I put 10% off, that is $1 off. So they're gonna get $1 off uh, every single month off their subscription product. So that's an example of what it is. Also right here uh, under the usage limits, I'm sorry, under the usage restrictions, you can just go ahead and give it some um, you know, requirements. So they have to spend a minimum of $50 to get this coupon code. You can also select it for certain products only. So let's say for instance, for the lawyer one, you want to only offer it, you want to only offer it for, um, let's see right here, I'll put subscription. Um, you can only offer it for certain products. So let's say I have other subscription products in here. So I'll say for instance, um, for this product right here, this coupon code is only good for this coupon code. And I want to go ahead and exclude everything else. You can also do by product categories, you can exclude you can exclude categories as well. So this right here is a little bit more thorough if you want to go ahead and go uh, in the nitty gritty and give discounts. Then also you can do usage limits as well. So how many times can this coupon code be used? Um, how many times can it be used for that item? And how many times can the user, the, the specific user use that coupon code? So that's just a general overview of coupon codes. They're a great way to advertise on Facebook and to try to get more money. So. I hope this video was helpful. Now, again, remember, uh, your customers are gonna be charged uh, every single month, and um, they can go ahead and go to their accounts, they can go ahead and uh, cancel it. Some, some themes offer to cancel it, so make sure that um, your theme supports it. If not, they can always send an email to cancel it, and when this actually goes uh, through your payment gateway, it's going to be on a subscription base, so make sure that um, you're aware of that. So you don't get in trouble if you just make a regular product and then they're gonna get charged a subscription. Also, it will tell them too that they're gonna be charged every single month until canceled. So the plugin does let them know so your customers will have clarity about their subscription. So again, I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully by now you guys know how to create subscription-based products and uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. My name is Daryl and I will see all of you people in the next video, guys. Take care.